Hello and welcome. I hope you love the colors on this book because I sure did. It inspired me to get this paper by Kaiser Craft after I saw a video by Rosa Kelly. Um, I saw that paper and you had to have coordinating paper to go with it. So I went through my stash and can you believe I only came up with two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock that would go with this paper. I found some um, eight and a half by 11, but it wasn't the right weight. And anyway, long story short, I decided to do it with what I had. So I made the book, the cover for the book, and realized that I messed up the only two sheets of paper in 12 by 12 that I had. So I threw it in the trash. I was so upset. I started again, started over, and I had to do it in a different paper that didn't coordinate as well in my mind, but here we go. Um, so you decorate the cover, and in this instance, it slides off like that. So it's a, I forgot what they call it, a sleeve maybe. And then um, this is a folio where you can put pictures and it opens like this. Isn't that paper pretty though? And this is all part of the paper pack. It opens like this, and then this opens up, and you can put photos here. And then this opens up, and it opens up here. And that's one of my favorite ladies. And it opens up there. And you've got a little dragonfly in there. And then some more pretty paper. Although that paper had to come from a different paper pack because I ran out of paper. What do you know? Then this has a little pocket. And these little cards come out. There's cute little books in there. And then that has a magnet closure and a little flower decoration. And then there's a pocket here, a big pocket, where you can put nice little journaling cards or pictures. Uh, then that has a magnet closure that opens up like that. And there's a nice little bird. Oops, almost knocked the camera over. Nice little bird on top. And um, one on the bottom. And then that opens up like that. I know you can't see that, but it opens like that. And then it opens again this way. And then this flips down and you can put pictures in there. Nice number of pictures. That closes up. You can open that and then you have a place to put even more pictures. Look at that. And that closes and opens like that. So, cute little folio. I was very disappointed in the paper and so disappointed that I threw the book away. But then my cheapness got the better of me and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this work. So I pulled that book out of the trash and I, right here where the ugly paper was that I had messed up, I decided, oh, I can just paint it. So I painted the whole cover black. And uh, then the paint started kind of chipping off. And I thought, oh, just throw it away. Just be done, throw it away. But couldn't do it. Pulled it out of the trash. And... Um, I put tape around, black tape around the edges. Well, that worked. That got me to an all black book. And I had this paper that I really liked. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to, because I'm going to throw it away anyway, let me just see if I can make this work. But as I started working on it, I had so much fun. So... That's the cover. 
And it opens the same way as the other book. And it opens like this. And it opens like this. And it opens like this. There are those where you can put the photos in. And then um, here's that back flap where it closes. It opens this way. I just love this paper. Um, then this way. It's got some chairs. Then this way. And this is all about Paris and fashion and uh, vintage, I guess. So I'm going to close that up. And then this side, look at that. Isn't that paper pretty? That was on the paper. And that opens up. Pretty paper. That opens that way. More paper. There's that flap where you can put in the photos. And then that opens. And that opens. And then you can put these in. So very pretty. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Again, the cover slides on, and then it, it, I decorated the back, and I did on this one too. There's that. There's that pretty cover again. A little bit of decoration on the back. A little bit of decoration on the back of the book, I think. Yep, cute little butterfly. So, I hope you like these. It was a lot of fun making them once again. Bye-bye.